Hey everybody, what's going on? Paul here again with another video about how to fix something on a car. I know it's been a while since I've done this. This one should be super quick and easy. I've got a code for intake air temperature being too high on this car, and I'm hoping that the problem will be solved by replacing the mass airflow sensor. So that's right here uh, on your intake. This is an aftermarket intake, but it's going to be in the same place on the car uh, with the original intake. So all you got to do is just pull this little red tab out, and then there are going to be two Phillips head screwdrivers right there and right there. That was easy. And unscrew these really quick. Looks like mine wasn't even tightened all the way to begin with, so maybe that was part of the problem, but I'm gonna change it anyway because it was cheap and easy. I'm just gonna slide this right out, pay attention. See this gap right here was facing out towards the driver's side of the car. We're gonna have to put the second one back in the same way, so. Here we go, here's our new piece and our old piece. Okay, so now I've got this old sensor out, just slipped right out. We'll see that the silver part is on top and the hole in the side right here was facing out towards the driver's side of the car. We just gotta make sure we put the new one in the same way. So that's gonna slip right on in there, nice and easy. I'm just gonna have to put those two screws back in and then we'll be done. And now we've got these screwed in nice and tight. See, it's not quite flush right there. Um, but the sensor itself is, so I think we're gonna be okay, and that's about as hand tight as I can get it from this weird angle. Gonna plug that right back in. Now I'm gonna go clear my engine codes and hope that my intake air temperature sensor does not come back, uh, because this car has a lot of miles and a lot of upgrades, and I'm hoping that there's not some kind of deeper issue. I do also keep getting the upper O2 sensor codes uh, stuck lean and it's making the car run rich and I've replaced them and the code keeps coming back. That could maybe be related to this. I'm hoping there's not a deeper issue, but anyway, just for the mass airflow sensor, that's like a 30 second job, very easy. Two screws, Phillips head screwdriver, and that one pull tab that we had to remove. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure and like the video, please. I'm gonna start trying to make more videos here soon. I know it has been a while since I've done any regular uploads. Uh, they should be coming back now. Uh, got something fun to work on. So anyway, bye.